Hi, welcome to this episode of the How to Do Stuff with Xperia video series. Right now we're in Xperia for Microsoft Dynamics CRM and the aim of this video is to show you how you can create a document using Xperia for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So you're looking at the startup screen or the, or the workplace screen of uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM online right now um, and what we're going to do is we're going to move to an entity that has um, document templates created for it and use those document templates to automatically create a document. So that's what we are going to do. Uh, I suggest we move to the sales um, section here and in the sales section one uh, typical entity you would like to create documents for would be the quotes entity. In my CRM right here I have three different quotes. I'm going to select one of them um, and move to this Expert the documents button here in the Microsoft Dynamics CRM ribbon and I can use that button to automatically create my quote. So what happens right now is that I get an overview of the different templates uh, that are available on the uh, quote entity and as you can see I have two um, templates here that would be a follow-up quote and a quote. Now there are two ways uh, for me to create documents. I can either take the slow steps which would take me through this uh, flow uh, interface right here or I can simply use the quick generate button which is right here. I use that quick generate button to create my quote in one click. So I'm going to do that first just to show you how that will happen. So what we got here is the link to our document. Um, it's a PDF document because that's the default setting uh, for this template and I'm just quickly gonna click this link to open it up. So here's a document that we have just created. Let me scroll down this document and you see some of the uh, some of the fields that are mapped here. Uh, you see some personalization you can see that there is a signature inside the, um, the document and scrolling further down you can see an overview of the different quote items, the different line items of your quote, um, the discount, grand total and so on and so forth and moving further on down you can see some product information and some general terms and conditions. Okay, So that's the document that we have created. As an alternative to using the quick generate button what you could also do is create your document in a step-by-step -step sort of fashion. In that case, you first select your template that you want to use and then you go to the next step which is setting the document properties. On the document properties tab you can give your document an alternative name and you can include a record reference and a timestamp or you can save, a different, save it as a different uh, output and format you can include headers and footers or not include headers and footers. These headers and footers would be the um, general corporate level headers and footers. You can, as a template designer, also use um, headers and footers inside your template. But ticking this box will overrule the headers and footers inside your template and force the corporate level headers and footers on your document. As we move on to the next step, that would be the set output parameters tab where you have the opportunity to save your document straight into SharePoint if there's a SharePoint instance attached to this CRM which is not the case so I'm gonna untick that again. You can create an activity in your CRM record um, that could be a letter activity, a task or simply a note. Um, for instance if you can if you select the letter here you can also choose to include a generated file as a note attachment to that activity, to that letter activity. You can give your note subject and a message and the same goes for your subject and your message of your activity. Okay, You can print your document, uh, select the printer and you can email your document as well. Um, obviously all of these um, fields can have defaults. You generate your document by clicking the generate button right here and you get the same sort of link to your document but it will also be saved as an activity.